You guys really don't even know how many times I've tried to shoot this intro. I did some Valentine's Day makeup. Let's just get into it. So I'm starting by priming my eyelids with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and a buffing brush. This just helps the color pop and really last all day. Next I'm just going to be applying some translucent powder to just make sure it's not sticky and all the colors blend up. I'm grabbing Shy from Huda Beauty's palette and using windshield wipers into my crease. Just back and forth and blending it out so there's no harsh lines. I love this brush you guys, it's from Sedona Lace, it's their like universal blending brush or something. And then I'm just going to do it to the other side. I'm starting with a little bit of product first and kind of just working my way up. That way it's easy to blend and everything just looks really nice and seamless. Next I'm taking Flamingo and just doing the same motions back and forth in my crease, just trying to deepen it up. I could have used sandalwood for a transition color before I went into the first pink shade, but I just didn't feel like doing it, I guess. So yeah, just a lot of windshield wipers back and forth and kind of small circles. Um, and then I just picking up a little bit more product. It's the same color. It looks way darker. I don't know why, but this color is not pictured. It's an Inglot shadow in the color 495. And it's just another pink color that's obviously darker than those two. But I really just wanted to deepen up that crease. Next I'm using Angelic, which I love. You guys, do not use these with a brush because they suck like that. If you use it with your finger, it just looks way better. How pretty is this shade, you guys? It really is like, it just says the name. Like, it's so angelic. I just love using it. And I find that if you use, um, like, glitter glue before you apply this, it works even better. But I felt that this looked good as it is. Next, I'm grabbing Fling, and I'm just going to create kind of a halo effect and put that in the outer corners and then also in the inner corners. You guys, when I was doing this, I was like, ooh, I don't know how I feel about this. Like, I don't know if this is going to turn out okay. But it ended up turning out really pretty, and that's what I love about makeup. There are literally no rules. You could do whatever you want. And my thing is, if it comes in a palette, like, those colors work well together. I don't know how true that is, but it works for me. And it's not pictured, but I just blended that out with a small blending brush. And now I'm highlighting, and this highlighter is from Therapy Systems. I'm pretty sure it's an eyeshadow, but once again, there are no rules. And it's in the color Anastasia. I love highlighting my brow bone with this. It's just a beautiful rose gold. It looks more rose gold than the packaging, but I still really, really love it. And I'm just blending those colors together to make sure that there are no harsh lines. Now I'm using my Allegaro Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey, I believe. I know people would be like, it's so light, but I like my under eyes to pop. <laughs> I'm just highlighting the places that the light would normally hit your face. Spraying my blender. It's already wet, but I just like it to be a little bit extra wet with some Fix Plus. And I started at the bottom of my face first because I wanted my concealer to kind of sit on my under eyes just for a little bit. And you notice how I don't put the concealer right under my eye? That's because it just helps with creasing and you can just work that product toward your eye. You guys need to blend your life away. And seriously, I hate doing like around my nose and... 
I hate contouring my nose because I'm not good at it and I'm trying to get better but it's just like so hard for me I don't know why I feel like my nose is like a couple different colors and it just like I don't know sometimes it like looks slanted and it just like looks so messed up so you'll notice I'm like taking some extra time to try to get this right <laughs> So you could actually just stop at that point and just put the powder on, but lately I've just been doing the two lines just to really get a defined nose contour. But make sure you blend it out well, guys, because you don't want to just be looking like you have two lines on the nose. And then also draw a line right there and underneath my nose, and that kind of gives you like a cute little button nose. I just think it's so cute and like dolly. Oh, I love it. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I put my lashes on off camera. They're Kara lashes and they're the wispy ones. My favorite lashes, literally, you guys, and they're only like $1.50. What? Like, you cannot beat that. using Laura Mercier's translucent powder to just, I'm kind of baking, but I'm kind of just like pressing the product into my skin. And I'll let it sit there just for a little bit, but like, I don't know what it is with my nose, but product just, it just does not, it doesn't like it. Like, I don't know why, it just, it just doesn't like it. So I'm just setting it so it just stays and doesn't get oily because I have the oiliest skin ever. And I know I did my brows and my foundation off camera. Um, I used the Too Faced Born This Way. And then I used, to prime my skin, I used the Becker, Becca Ever Matte Ever Poreless foundation on my T-zone and then the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer like on the outer parts. I'm just rough. Ah, <laughs> can't talk. Just brushing some powder on my face. Uh, this is the L'Oreal True Match in C8, and it just helps with flashbacks, so you don't have to look gray or any of that nonsense. And I love this brush, you guys. It's the um, the powder brush from Sedona Lace. I just got it. It works way better than my Mac one. Oh, and this contour palette oh my god in love I used it on my clients too and it works with a variety of skin tones and I just I never thought that I would need to like use bronzer but it just makes the contour look so gradient and beautiful today I didn't really do a dark contour um, normally I do but I feel like it's safe so that is the NYX jumbo eye pencil in milk and I'm just buffing it out so it's smoky, I guess. And then I'm using sandalwood and henna and just sweeping it across my lower lash line. And using some mascara. This one's actually pretty good. It's from Maybelline. It's the Colossal Chaotic Lash. Normally I don't really like drugstore mascaras, but I think that this one looks really, really good and it gives me just the effect that I want. Also, here's a tip for your bottom lashes. If you want them to look fuller, use a brown liner and kind of draw lines, like going in the same direction as your lashes and they'll make them look thicker. Now going in for some glow. I love this highlighter too. If you guys know any highlighters that are made for women of color, let me know because I can never find any. This one is okay, but I just want something more beautiful. Glow, come through. You guys, make sure you spray your brush too because it really makes the highlighter pop. I don't do it initially when I put it on, but I'll go in with the second layer and make sure I spray my brush and then really work that, work that glow in. And of course, I love a good nose highlight and lip highlight. I went a little overboard. 
And I got like, you see those two lines? Oh, I hate that. I wish I had a defined Cupid's bow. Oh well, work what you got. And I like to put a little bit on my nose. This is um, from La Femme, and it's in the color Dusty Rose. And then that lip liner is Posey K and Candy from Anastasia. Posey K is obviously from Kylie's Lip Kit. And I just fill in my lips, and then I concentrate the liner on the outer corners of my lips. So when you fill it in with the lighter color, the lip gloss, it gives you kind of like a nice pout. If you really want that pout to stand out, then I would use like a just a dab of concealer in the middle of your lips and kind of work that in, pucker them, and you're good to go, honey. Now I'm just going to spray my face with some setting spray. And you all good to go, honey. Better wow him, more importantly yourself. Thanks for watching.